in regard to identity management, there are a number of challenges. Uh, first among which is consistency. We have to do the same thing, the same way, every time. And unfortunately, we are dealing with people primarily when we're dealing with identity. <clears throat> and therefore, we have... Uh, you know, people are different. People aren't, aren't stamped out on assembly line. And, and therefore, we have various situations and yet we have to follow our procedures. We have to make sure that policy is adhered to. Um, we, you know, we've got to, we've got to be consistent. We've got to ensure that the verification of the identity is done properly, regardless of their background. And uh, in terms of the authorization that we have to do, we have to do that consistency, consistently, even when we have situations where the uh, uh, well situations. This is the constant situation these days, uh, where our watchwords are agile and innovation. Um, and management is constantly looking, particularly with regard to information technology, for efficiency. And efficiency means, in their mind, cost savings. And again, remember, this relentless pursuit of efficiency leads to fragility and brittle systems and a lack of resilience, all of which are problems in terms of business continuity. So um, we, uh, we need to ensure that we are doing things consistently in this changing environment where you know, demands are being made for, for change all the time in the name of all of those things. Um, now, again, we are dealing with people. So usability is, uh, is again, fundamental here. We are uh, not, uh, well, we are trying not. Uh, we are all too often, we, we are putting barriers in people's place. We, you know, and, and we shouldn't be. We, our uh, systems for identity management should be usable as, as far as is possible with regard to the demands of identification and authentication. Our, our systems managing access control and managing the identity have to be usable. Uh, the, the people, um, our employees in our enterprise, our, uh, uh, our customers, our clients, contractors, all the other people um, who have to be managed in terms of, of their access, providing proper access and, and preventing improper access have to be usable can't just be barriers and walls that we put up you know we we want to protect confidentiality and integrity and availability sometimes and and access control is is doing that if it's done properly uh putting up a wall okay maybe that prevents uh protects confidentiality but it certainly does nothing for availability so, um, you know, we've got we've to do that. And reliability. Now, uh, I mean, you know, there's, there's some similarities there to uh, consistency. Um, but we, we have to be able to rely on these systems. There can't be loopholes in them. There can't be uh, uh, problems, windows left open. <clears throat> Uh, very often in, in security, we go around shutting all the windows and leave the back door wide open. But anyways, you know, we, we 
have to have these systems that are reliably managing, controlling the access, providing access when it is needed and preventing access when that is what is needed. Um, scalability. Um, we, yeah, I mean, information technology. We, uh, a lot of us have worked for startups. And uh, I, I have, you know, the examples of, of companies um, growing. And, and, you know, we, we see certain unicorns growing very rapidly, going from the startup levels and, and blasting through small and medium-sized businesses, you know, into the size of corporations within a very short space of time. Um, so the technologies that we put in place with regard to uh, our access control, the, the tools that we are using have to be scalable. Uh, and uh, it's interesting, uh, you know, public key infrastructure and, and uh, asymmetric encryption and everything behind that, very, very complex. Um, but of course, seen as the uh, addressing uh, the problem that uh, uh, symmetric encryption had in terms of scalability and the number of keys that you had to man manage. And uh, yet, um, Kerberos, you know, an older technology, uh, was actually incredibly scalable. Uh, it was really interesting how, how large you could get a system um, and, and secure everything, all the resources, all the users. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it would manage it up to quite a sizable corporation. So, um, you know, look at scale, scalability, uh, but, you know, don't sell yourself short on uh, some of these uh, simpler tools that, that may be actually very usable there and finally efficiency and as i mentioned again you know we have to be efficient about what we are doing but do not pursue efficiency at the cost of everything else and this very often happens these days and and uh, efficiency uh efficiency is needed we we have to be cost effective we are going to be called on that cost benefit uh, analysis issue over and over again. Yes, we have to pay attention to that, but be aware, you know, when, uh, when you pursue efficiency, um, at, you know, as the single focus, as, as your God, and, and that does seem to be the way that uh, business is moving these days, you get to a situation and the pandemic uh, pointed this out in giant blazing colors that efficient systems are brittle and when something goes wrong it just all falls apart so we've you know th there is a balance there we have to we have to be efficient in what we're doing but we cannot make it yet another problem